You are listening to the Catholic Family Podcast, Lent Around the World, daily meditations chosen and read by traditional Catholics from around the globe. Continuing our Reflections on the Passion by Father Charles Doyle, the Friday of the fourth week in Lent. The patient Christ broke his silence to answer the high priest's direct question couched in these words, I adjure thee by the living God, that thou tell us whether thou art the Christ, the Son of God. Matthew twenty six sixty three. To that question Christ replied, I am. And ye shall see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power, and coming with the clouds of heaven. But the high priest tore his garments and said, What further need have we of witnesses? You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? And they all condemned him as liable to death. Mark 14.61 How audacious of Caiaphas to dare ask the Son of God to answer him under oath. Yet Christ accepted that challenge even in the face of certain death and answered in the affirmative. And how was Christ's testimony received? You must notice, if you study this scene even casually, that it mattered little to Caiaphas how Christ answered that question. When Caiaphas asked the question, Art thou the Christ? Was he prepared to receive or accept the evidence? Let us see. Naturally, our Lord could not lie. But just suppose he had said no. In that case, he would have been called an impostor and condemned to death as a blasphemer. But now, when he answered, I am, to Caiaphas's question, was there the least tendency on the part of the high priest to accept the testimony? No. Instead, Caiaphas rent his garments and cried out that all had heard the blasphemy he heard, and then proceeded to lead the Sanhedrin into calling for Christ's death. No matter how the gentle Christ had answered Caiaphas's loaded question, he would have heard the same outcry, death to the blasphemer. Unfortunately, the closed mind did not die with Caiaphas, Many people today are more like Caiaphas than they are like Christ. They have assumed a spirit of opposition to evident truth, and thereby preclude any evidence from producing a lasting effect. Our Holy Mother the Church teaches us through the Holy Scripture and the living word of her priests that when we begin to love the world, we begin to dislike religion. When we begin to worship money, we cease to worship God as we should with our whole heart, our whole mind, our whole soul, and all our strength. When we begin to love houses of pleasure, we begin to dislike the house of prayer. When we seek godless, irreligious friends and companions, we soon find good people dull and boring. The testimony is evident and copious, but we often close our minds to its force, and like Caiaphas, we preclude the evidence in favor of prayerful, upright, moral lives and gradually banish Christ from our lives, homes, and actions. Christ spoke the truth in answer to Caiaphas's question, Art thou the Christ, the Son of the living God? When he replied, I am. Why do we doubt the truth of Christ's words, then, when he says, Unless you do penance, you shall all likewise perish? Luke 13.3 Or when he says, Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you shall not have life in you. John 6.54 Or when he says, Everyone that hath left house or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall possess life everlasting. Matthew 19.29 Caiaphas had closed his heart, so Christ's words meant nothing to him. Have you closed your heart to Christ's words? Do you listen to your conscience? Do you take lightly the inspirations aroused by sermons and pious reading? Mark well these words of God, My son, forget not my law, and let thy heart keep my commandments, for they shall add to thee length of days, and years of life and peace.